Hey loves, thanks so much for tuning in. Today I want to bring you a really cute DIY for dad. I don't know why I'm so excited. I think because I'm a little bit of a tomboy, but I have been looking for the parts to all of this stuff so I can make this DIY for a few days and I finally have it all. So I'm excited to do this DIY today. All of these products can be found at the Dollar Tree with the exception of this wooden board, which I actually got from the Goodwill for only $2.97. It does have four rolls on it. I'm going to be removing this without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the DIY so I got these grill tools from the Dollar Tree I have a barbecue spatula a barbecue fork some barbecue tongues which are really nice and a grill brush which is a three in one and also I found some condiment bottles which we're gonna custom make in a little bit and also this barbecue towel which I also got from the Dollar Tree so first what I'm going to do is cut little sections of this black twine. I got mine at Michael's. You can find this also at the Dollar Tree. You're basically going to loop it through all of your barbecue tools so it can hang from your wooden plaque. You just want to create a loop and tie it and you want to do this to all of them just so they can hang from your wooden plaque. So the next part is going to be really fun. I'm going to take these condiment bottles. We're going to customize them with some of these Google images that I printed off and we're going to make them really special for dad. Let me give you a closer up view. So I'm going to cut these out. I have Dad's Kapow Sauce for the red one and Super Dad's Secret Sauce for the yellow bottle. We're going to apply it down with some Mod Podge, but I'm going to cut these out really quick. So then you're going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to apply it to the back of my printouts and add it to the bottle. Next, I'm going to take this wonderful wooden find that I got from the Goodwill. I'm going to remove this top roll as well as these two bottom rolls. And then I might sandpaper it out depending on what it looks like underneath here. Take it on the porch and give it a coat of spray paint. I think it's just staples or, um, yeah, I think it's just staples holding these together. So here's what it looked like once I went ahead and I removed the three panels from the bottom and one from the top. I'm going to take these pliers and see if I can just pull the staples out. So here's what it looks like when I went ahead and I removed the staples and I also sandpapered it down with these little sandpaper strips from the Dollar Tree and it did leave a little bit of holes in the staples at the bottom but I'm thinking once I spray paint this and put some graphics on it and hang down some of the grill items it'll cover it all up. So I'm going to take this on the porch and give it a coat of spray paint. So next what I'm going to do is take this acrylic white paint and some paint brushes and I'm going to write Grill Master on the top.
so here's what it looks like after I added my words to the top it's not perfect it doesn't have to be so next what you're gonna do is take these D ring hangers and I'm going to screw them into the back of my wooden panel so I can hang my work Basically, I just put two on the ends. I'm not gonna put the two screws in here. My piece is not that heavy. I didn't wanna put it over the top of the wood because I don't want the um, this part to show. And I know these are gonna come through just a little bit, but I think it's gonna add to, to, the, uh, to, to the piece. So the screws are coming through. You can paint these if you want, just so that you won't see them. That's totally fine with me, but they are showing there, so yeah. So I'm done with the Grill Master part. What I'm gonna do is take my paintbrush and add some more art to the bottom of it just to fill it in a little bit more. And here's the finished product. This turned out really good. I love all of these from the bottles to the Grill Master sign. I'm gonna be hanging this up in the kitchen and showing you guys what it looks like hung up with everything hanging from it. But I love this. This is definitely something really great and nice to make for dad. This was a ton of fun and very inexpensive to make. Be sure to check the description box for a list of everything that I used today. I appreciate all of the love and the support. And thank you guys so much for favoriting my Etsy store as an appreciation for all of your love and your support. I am running a 20% off of all of my items on my Etsy store. Be sure to check it out. The link will be down in the description box. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and your support. And supporting me it really means a lot so thank you for that also make sure that you are subscribed if you're not already click this button here and also check out some of my previous videos thank you guys for watching I hope you have a wonderful Father's Day and I hope this helped you out with some of your gift ideas until next time I'll see you all later have a blessed day bye